Today we're going to be talking about electronic recording on this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we are talking about electronic recording. We also offer electronic notarization and electronic signing. Our industry has been making substantial changes over the course of the last few years. And this year, as you know, you saw a breaking news video that we issued several months ago, e-notarization is here. But what is e-sign and how safe and secure is it is a question that we're asked a lot. I get many attorneys that tell me, no, I want to stay away from that electronic stuff. But what they do not realize is this is the best risk protection for the buyer. This is the best risk protection for you, the lender. And this is the best risk protection for you, the investor. The sellers don't really care because they're selling the property. But when we're talking about e-recording, this is where we can actually take the deed. If the seller comes in our office today and they sign the deed, we can actually take that deed and transmit it to the county recorder's office and get the deed recorded today. So what's the benefit of that? We get you of public record today. So if you are a buyer, you want to be entitled to that property as soon as possible. To prevent anyone else from coming in and making a claim to your property, we want to get that deed recorded as soon as possible because first in wins. What if that seller walks out of the closing table and sells the property to two other buyers the same day? The first deed that gets recorded most likely is going to win. That's important as to why you buy title insurance. What else is e-recording good for? Well, if you're a lender, whether it's a hard money lender or a regular lender, e-recording is so important because we can get your mortgage secured against that property immediately. Imagine waiting three to four weeks to get your money secured by the piece of real estate that that buyer purchased. It gives them an opportunity to do something that maybe they shouldn't be doing. We're not saying everyone does things properly. We know there are criminals out there. There are criminals who specifically look to defraud lenders and defraud clients. So it's very important to make sure if we can close today, we can record your documents today, your deed and your mortgage. It gets recorded immediately. What else is it good for? The last thing I want to talk about are errors. There are many errors that we come across on deeds. It could be an error in a legal description, which we talked about on a previous episode. It could be a misspelling in a name. I had a client call us that we inverted her first, her um, last name and her middle name, and she was caused some problems with the property appraiser. So we can immediately get the deed signed, get the deed recorded, and get the issues fixed. One of the things that we do with e-recording when we upload it to our system is it will tell us if there's an error in the document. So this way we know we can get it recorded immediately. So if there's an error, we can fix it and then get it recorded and get you of public record. There are many counties in the state of Florida. One that comes to my mind is Okeechobee County out up by uh, the middle of nowhere there where a lot of our investors are buying there. And the problem is, is we have to physically mail via FedEx or the post office, the, the recorded documents, the documents that need to go for recording. So we need to take the original deed and the original mortgage, put it in a FedEx envelope and mail it to the county. Can you already see the problem with that? First, what if it doesn't get there? We have a problem because the original documents are lost. Then what happens is when you send it there, if maybe you miscounted the pages and it's short by uh, $1, because there was an additional name, they will then mail the documents back to you. Okay, so now we're two weeks into the deal. Then you have to cut the check for the dollar, mail it back. Now we're three weeks into the deal. Then hopefully it's right the second time. Now they mail them back and we're four weeks until we can issue the owner's title insurance policy. So the moral of the story, get in, get a record immediately. We use e-recording, it's safe, it's secure, 
and it makes sure that you the buyer, you the lender are protected today. The day of closing is when I want your protection to start to make sure we get you a public record. So I hope you learned something new today talking about e-recording and e-notarization and the importance of making sure you're using a title company or a real estate attorney that has best practices to use e-recording. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.